All right, guys, so I am getting ready to do today's uh, readings for the weekend message. A little sneak peek into the setup over here. We're looking good. Um, but I wanted to share something with you guys that I recently did and kind of did an energetic goof on. Now, for those of you that have been practicing for a while, you've probably heard the phrase moon water or sun water thrown around. And if you follow Lucky Boots, you've even heard of moon pickles. Um, the moon water is charged with a specific purpose of the moon phase, the lunar cycles, and any other astrological event that may be going on. This past new moon, I charged this water for three days with a banishing energy for something that I was working on and I still have plans for that for my own energetic blockages. It's probably going to make me throw up, but if that gets the energy out of me, it gets the energy out of me. One thing that I had done and didn't really think about while I was doing it was I used this water to water my plants. Um, she's actually downstairs right now because almost immediately after I watered Juanita, which is the name of my plant, with the banishing new moon water, she started to wilt and look like she was not doing as good. And I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck is wrong with her? And mo and I was explaining to my mom and she's like, you put banishing water in your plant. And I'm like, oh shit. So I grabbed a piece of citrine, not this one because it's actually in the plant still. I grabbed a piece of citrine and put it in the middle of her three sprigs, and that was last night, and this morning she is taller. We walk through the valley of the shadow of the doodle to get to her, and we say hello. Hello, Artemis. Hello, Hestia. But Juanita is over here in what I call the plant daycare center, and she is looking so much better. Come here, darling. Eh. And see, there's my citrine in the middle of it. And all of these three sprigs were very wilty and leany yesterday. And now they still are because she needs a little more time to heal. But citrine removes negative energy. One of the most amazing things about that crystal is that it is self-cleansing. And it's why I have incorporated it quite a bit into my own bracelets. is because it does not hang on to negative energy. So... I wanted to share that with you guys because it was an energetic whoopsie that I made and I have been a practicing witch since I was 10 years old. So 14 years. And I'm still learning things. There are still plenty of things that I don't know. There are still plenty of like very easy energetic hygiene mistakes that I make. And I wanted to share that with you guys for one to understand what water you are making and remember what you're using it for. But also, you always have the opportunity to learn. I have been practicing for over a decade and there is still so much every single day, every single week that I am learning. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I am going to stop this and get to your readings. Brightest blessings, my loves.